Hello and welcome to Kingfisher Diet Kitchen on a sunny day in Galloway for a change and today we're going to do an America Day night so we're heading off to America and of course we've got to keep it healthy so I'm doing turkey sliders with corn on the cob and sweet potato fries so I'll just show you the ingredients now right so we have turkey mince here and it's 2% fat We've got parsley, you know I use parsley and everything if you're watching my wee videos. So 100 grams of mince, this is for one portion, obviously you can make it more if you're doing it for a family. Uh, 5 grams of parmesan cheese, now the parmesan cheese adds flavour to your mince. If I'm making burgers or even my sausage rolls, I always add some parmesan into the mixture. It adds flavour and moistness I think as well. Right, and we'll also have a teaspoon each of these cranberry sauce grated garlic, some seasonings, this is a chicken seasoning I'm using but you could use anything, um, sage would go well, mixed herbs, whatever you got, and a bit of rosemary would be nice, and I've got a spring onion, and then for the sauce I'm doing with it, it's a marinara sauce, I think that's how you pronounce it, sorry if it's not, um, we've got 50 grams of passata, 5 grams of capers, some white wine, some grated onions, and then quarter of a teaspoon of dry parsley, garlic granules and celery salt. If you don't have celery salt, don't worry about it. It's not one of the main ingredients you need, but I've got some, so I'm putting it in. So the next thing we're going to do is um, make the meatballs. Right, so I've got my favourite wee machine out here. Now, as I said before, my wee clips got Stuart on for Christmas. And I did ask him, is it out of the box yet, Stuart? Silence for the room. Loud reply. So obviously not. Right, so I'm putting the spring onions in first and I'm going to blitz them because you want them to be really fine. Put it in and blitz. Right, now if we've blitzed them down to a nice fine pulp, we can put in our parsley, our mince, our parmesan, our cranberry, our garlic and our seasonings. And we'll pulse this, now we'll pulse it gently, but we don't want the mince to bake up too much. But I'll see, it makes a lot of noise, so I'll switch it off and then we'll look at it when it comes back out. Right, so I've pulsed it gently and there we have the mixture. So now I'm going to make that into very small meatballs, not really big meatballs, because I'm going to go on a bagel. I served with a slider, it's always served on a, a roll and we're using a low calorie bagel. So I'll make them into nice wee meatballs now. Right, so I'm making the meatballs here. Now, just squeeze them quite tightly together when you make them like that. We're not using breadcrumbs or egg or anything like that to keep the calories down, so you want to make sure you press them quite firmly to make your wee balls. Right, so there we have our meatballs, and I got five reasonable sized ones out of that. This is just for one portion. And you might not need to fit all them on that on the slider, but I can always use them later. Right, so in the fridge now to firm up. Now we're going to make the wee sauce that goes with it. Now because I'm making such a small quantity of it, I'm going to do it in the microwave. So we've got a jug here and then we're going to put our ingredients into the jug. And then we're going to put the microwave on medium for four minutes. So here we have the meatballs which I cooked in the grill for ten minutes. You can grill or fry them, whatever you prefer. I give them a wee grill five minutes each side and I put into the sauce and I'll let that marinate now so the meatballs take on some of the flavour of the sauce and then we'll move on to the next stage. <laughs> 